Hi, my name is Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and this is How to Memorize Constellations. So this is a tough one, um, just because uh, it's an easy process, but it has to be tailored to your location and to when do you want to know the constellation. So if you want to know all the seasonal constellations, you have to put in some work. Um, I can give you some sort of guidelines of how I memorize my constellations. And the first thing I did is I bought a star map. So a star map you can buy from almost any astronomy store, maybe even your college bookstore. It comes with astronomy books. Uh, they generally sell them for the Northern Hemisphere, the Southern Hemisphere. Um, and then you can, the star map is like two concentric uh, maps and you sort of sort of spin them around. And what you have to do is line up the time with the months and then it sort of gives you like a, a window. And that window, when you look up, that's your sky. And you will have to figure out what north is and, and that's about it. The one pointer that I give you for the star map is that when you read your star map, don't read your star map down, otherwise it's wrong. You want to read your star map up and try to compare it back to back with the sky. Um, star map is a map of the sky, not a map of the floor. So you read it looking up. And um, so this is one of the ways that you should buy one of those. And every time you go outside, you should probably just check out what you can recognize and try to line up things. So you can get used to the names of the constellations, the patterns of the constellations. Now, the second thing that I would do is that I will find the asterism. So find the brightest patterns in the sky. Um, I will look for the alpha star of the constellations that are mainly visible. So find the brightest stars. And then memorize those. So if you see Vega, okay, I know Vega is right there. Uh, if you look at the constellation of like Canis Major and you see the star Sirius, you can sort of learn from that star. So learn how to recognize one star and then kind of walk your way through the sky. Like I generally look at, like if I look at Orion, that would look like something like this with the three stars in the belt. I generally follow the belt and I know the belt sort of guide you to Taurus and just come up with like little shortcuts that would like, that will make you remember the pattern, the asterisms, the bright stars of that seasonal sky. And then that's, that's pretty much about it. You will just have to go out and just try it out yourself. You can try to make some notes and sort of learn why, why each star is, uh, why is each bright star is important. And this kind of will help you get them in your head. My name is Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and these are some guidelines to memorizing constellations. Mm -hmm.